Time now for the mixed team gold medal match between Spain and Turkey. The top two seeds after the ranking round. And it's a very, very competitive lineup on both sides of the shooting line. Let's go and meet the athletes for this gold medal match. On target number two, representing Turkey, Pete Kazos, Zeynep Köse. On target number one, representing Spain, Pablo Acha, Elia Canales. And the vice judge for this match is Serdar Özdemir. Well, Chris, there's a really interesting dynamic in this one. Uh, Elia Canales and Pablo Acha took team gold medals in their uh, representative competitions, beating uh, their op opponents, Zeynep Kosa and Mete Gazos, in those team events. But Kosa and Gazos have just claimed individual gold medals. And it's really the story of this event. It's a, it's a very much Spain-Turkey affair. The two coaches in the boxes, Goktuk Ergin uh, and... Elias Cuesta, two of the, the most talented uh, coaches on the, on, the, on the circuit right now, building really, really strong and sustainable programs in their respective countries. Elias Canales starts hey. things off with a right eight for Spain. Two mm -hmm. arrows per archer. So, switch to the first rotation, and it's Gazos leading the way for Takia. It's wonderful to see Mete switch from that quiet, concentrated individual to a really communicative partner in the mixed team event. It's so key to speak between the athletes to explain where that arrow's gone, why that arrow's gone. Otherwise, you just can't learn. Hey. Drifting right again from uh, Canales. So now we see the expected switch around in order. Kosa shooting arrow, arrows two and three for Takia. So an eight to share the points. I think we all know that's never enough for Mete Gazos though. As soon as I say that, he's drifted way off to the left. Uh, I wasn't expecting that, Chris. No, it didn't seem to be anything particularly odd with the arrow. Dialogue between the teams. It's a good shot of the Spanish arrows. You see 
Pablo Acha's two green fletched arrows on the left, Elia Canales with the white fletchings on the right in the eight. And that's why we talk about communication in the team events, particularly the mixed team events. You know, there's so many choices before you shoot an arrow, where to aim primarily, looking at all of the wind and the environment. And then there's so many things to evaluate once you've shot it. Was it a good arrow? Was it where it should have gone? And when you're, you're shooting as a team, when you're not shooting all of your own arrows, you've got to be able to communicate those things between one another uh, so that your, 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 your teammate can interpret the same things that you do. Well, it's certainly set up an interesting gold medal match here. Spain taking the early lead after an, well, unexpected seven from Gazos to finish off set number one. Step straight back up to the shooting line for set number two. Takia looking to start the fight back straight away. Nine. Now, how will Canales and Acha handle the pressure of the lead? Hmm, interesting. Both going left of their arrows in the first set, the Spaniards. I don't remember Pablo Acha leaning his head back so much when he shoots in past years. That's something to go back and take a look at. Hey. In these windy conditions, so, so tough, so tough to be good as a duo rather than individual. Nine. So one more than they scored in the first set. Didn't get the points that time around. Good grouping from Canales, but just outside the 10 ring. Another 35 from Spain, matching the score they got in the first set. And uh, if that's confirmed for both teams, they'll share the set points. Takia get onto the scoreboard, but still trail by two. Yeah, Pablo Acha just had an opportunity to put that one away, didn't he? Saw him trying to steer it with his left hand after it left the bow. It's so important if you're, if you're teaching perfect technique to be still with that front hand because... If you think you're moving afterwards, you're moving just as the arrow loses, and that will that will you know, change where it impacts. It's a tool subconsciously that archers try and use to to move it into the middle, but it's just such a symptom of it um, of it not being in the right place, right? He knows subconsciously it's not going in the right place. That one dropped low. He thought it was a move to the right. Frustrating, frustrating for Spain. But they still have a two-point lead. It's going to go to uh, four sets minimum, this one. Takia start set number three with Mete Gazos. Yeah. 
That's why you have your Olympic champion open and close in your rotations. Start strong, finish strong. And clearly someone who can handle the pressure, but a good nine from Zainab Kosa. So Canal has uh, got a not nice little grouping with her last three arrows. Acha's back and in that's the middle. The best arrow that Pablo Acha has shot in this match. Time for Zainab Kosha to do the same thing. Her first ten of the match. There's some pressure on now. A 39 out of a maximum 40 for Takia. And Spain will require two tens to match that. So whatever happens with Atcher's final arrow, which is an important one in preparation for uh, what's coming next, there will be a fourth set. And they will be tied. Nine. So a, third, a 36 there uh, for Spain. They scored one more than they did in the first two sets, uh, but haven't got any points this time. And we are all square, and the momentum has just ever so slightly shifted towards the host nation here. Sometimes you feel there's a switch in Mete's back, and he just needs to just needs to click it on, and then everything tightens in. Yeah, he's a he's a lovely guy, lovely kid, uh, such a such a great demeanour as a competitor and as a person. And every now and again, he just realizes he needs to he needs to do it for his team. He needs to do it for his country. And that was one of those moments, right? Perfect first arrow, excellent last arrow. That's why you put him in those high pressure situations, because you know he can handle it. And he really excels in them. Yeah, we're set up for a fantastic final set here. Momentum ever so slightly with uh, Takia, with Gazos and Kosa drawing level with Spain's Canales and Acha. And it is Elena Canales to shoot first in this fourth set. That is the way to start a final set when you're all square with your opponents. This is a pressure shot on Zainab Kosa. Nine. 
now. This is in the hands of Spain. A 10 and a 9. Enough for the gold medal. Oh, <laughs> this is right on a knife edge. If Acha puts this into the tent, it's out of reach for Takia, but that is a huge amount of pressure. And there you go. Now that called a seven in venue, I think it was, for a 36. And there's room here for Takia to close this out. Nine. A nine to force a shoot off. A ten for the win. It's in the hands of the Olympic champion from Turkey on home soil. Oh, what a finish from Mete Gazos. What an incredible final set. Uh, yet to be confirmed, but they're hugging in the uh, Turkey camp. A 37 enough to beat Spain's 36. And the gold medal going to Mete Gazos and Zainab Kosa from Turkey. What a finish, Chris. What a finish.